We're on Ovation of the Seas. Come along for a tour and an opinion. This is Year One, Week 19, Day 6. Let's start our tour in the Via on Deck 5. And You'll see what this is, which is basically a thoroughfare from the Royal Esplanade back to 270. But we've got Jamie Oliver's, Jamie's Kitchen Specialty Restaurant, Vintage's Wine Bar, and then some shops over here. So let's go ahead and take a walk back here through Via back to 270. And so really what the Via is, is it's just a corridor to get you back to this new space called 270 which is absolutely amazing so let me walk here through the via and then i'll be back with you in 270. so this is the corridor called the via and on the left here is the next cruise desks and then on the right is Cafe 270, which is, isn't open this morning, but they've got a great selection of sandwiches and salads and desserts and coffee. But then you get back here to 270 at the aft of the ship, which is just an absolutely amazing space. So it's a great place just to look, watch, obviously see where we've been but it turns into a virtual theater and also just a theater and what those are right up there are six robotic screens that can move and dance with the show it's absolutely amazing <laughs> back through the via and I'm going to show you in my opinion one of the disappointments of this ship even though it's a really really cold morning and windy here in the North Pacific we're gonna head outside to the deck 5 promenade and this is one of the disappointments of these large class of ships is the promenade it's it's a nice space but it just goes forward and aft there's you can't promenade anymore which is basically take the loop all the way around so one of the disappointments for us on these classes of ships is just the size of the promenade Well, we've come back inside and so now you're looking forward and we're about to go into the Royal Esplanade, another class of ships they call it the Royal Promenade and this is the, the kind of the hub and the center hub interior of the ship and it's got restaurants and bars and shopping and the music hall and of course it's the pathway forward to the Royal Theatre which is really the classic typical theater that you have in the bow of most cruise ships so let's take a walk so this is the royal esplanade from deck five it goes down to deck four two and we're coming through the closed right now bionic bar which is a lot of fun it uses ipads and your cpass card and you can either purchase a pre-made drink or you can make your own and have to say it's really really a cool little bar but the drinks are always better from a bartender on the right here is Azumi one of the specialty restaurants and that's the Japanese cuisine and then we're passing through here and this is actually going to be another disappointment on this class of ship which is the schooner bar 
and other, all the other classes of ships, and we've been on every class that Royal Caribbean has now created, <laughs> but the schooner bar on other classes of ship always had the decor, as you see here, of a classic sailing vessel. But the issue that we have in our opinion with now the schooner bar on ovation of the seas is that there's no views. It makes you feel like you're kind of just in a themed bar and kind of just down in the bilge of the ship. So, yeah, it's, it's just not the best. Well, we've come down to deck four and behind me here is the entrance to the theater, which is really just a typical theater that you have on most modern cruise ships. But what we'll do now here is we'll pass heading aft back in the Royal Esplanade, but now again down on deck four. And this is of course your main hub of shopping, bars, restaurants, snacks, guest relations, all that kind of stuff, which <laughs> guest relations has been very busy on our itinerary here just because it's changed quite a bit, but it's a trans-Pacific crossing from Honolulu to Vancouver. So with weather and all that, we knew there were gonna be changes and it's been an absolutely magnificent itinerary and an absolutely magnificent crew, so, but Yes, yeah, so let's pass through here the Royal Esplanade. We're still on deck four, and behind me is the entrance to the dining room, or shall I say, entrance to two dining rooms. The concept here on this ship is actually four independent dining rooms. Uh, the ones on deck four are for the my time dining and then the ones on deck three are for the classic set time dining. So the disappointment here though is that the decor is completely different in each of the four dining rooms and so for that reason then if you don't really like the decor or the atmosphere then you need to change either either change the room or you actually need to change from classic dining time to my dining time so a little bit of a disappointment there well we're passing through the casino and right above me is the deck for royal esplanade and the the stairs that get you back up there. Not a gambler, so the casino is typically a casino, except for one huge improvement for us, which is this casino is smoke free. It's just, it's open to several other venues like the Royal Esplanade upstairs, and then where we're going here forward, which again is just a really 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 cool new space they have in this class of ship so this is the dedicated music hall for one just great fun music you can see it's got a, a dance floor a bar it is two decks tall great views up there at that bar on the the upper deck so again another great new space that they've created in this class of ship well as we ride the elevator up to topside uh, another disappointment here and that's just the the centrum space it really really just kind of looks like a hotel so here we are top side with the the pool deck behind me and again we're in the north pacific here crossing from honolulu to vancouver so it's like 50 degrees with a 30 knot wind over the bow so uh, as you can see nobody's out there it's really kind of a gloomy morning but 
But yeah, it's a, it's a very nice pool deck. It's it's typical, and this is the outdoor pool deck. So let's take a walk and let's look at some of the indoor pool spaces. So here we are on deck 14 in the indoor pool area. Very, very nice space. Like on a morning like this, it gets you out of the weather, but let's go take a look at one of the best spaces on this ship. So this is by far the best place on the ship and this is the solarium which you enter on deck 14 but it actually has a multi-tiered pool and multiple hot tubs and it's in the front of the ship it's all glass which is amazing because next year we're going to be back here on ovation for an alaska itinerary and this view out the front is going to be absolutely amazing. And with the sunshine bar here behind me, again, just a fantastic space to hang out, have drinks, watch the world go by. Absolutely amazing. This space is the best space on Ovation of the Seas. So after the tour, what's our opinion of Ovation of the Seas? So as you can see, I'm back here in the best place on the ship and our favorite place on the ship, which is the Sunshine Bar, having my morning fresh screwdriver here. So first, like Freddie right here behind the bar, the crew is absolutely amazing. We've had a, a wonderful time here. Second, uh, the ship itself has got some great tech. Uh, the, the internet is great. Everybody seems to be on their tech. So that's one great thing about. And there's some great new spaces like 270, the music hall, right here where I'm at, the solarium, the best place on the ship. But there's a few things that they've also then changed that really is not to our liking. Basically, the ship seems a lot more compartmentalized than other Royal Caribbean ships. So, for all of those reasons, we actually put this on the fifth list of our favorite classes. Favorite class being Radiance, then Oasis, then Freedom Class, then Voyager, and now the Quantum Class, which Ovation of the Seas is a part of. So, get yourself on Royal Caribbean. An amazing company, a lot of fun. The itineraries are great, but there's plenty of diversity in the ship. So we'll see you on the seas.